Hey loves, and welcome to Heart to Heart Love Messages. My name is Crystal. If you're new here, welcome to the channel. If you are already subscribed here, welcome back. So just a quick message before we get into tonight's reading. Personal readings will be closing today. So if you do feel called to receive a personal reading, you can find all of that information posted in the description box below, okay? So tonight I have a very urgent message for the Divine Feminine. Please keep in mind that these messages may or may not resonate with everyone. So just take the messages that resonate and leave the ones that do not, okay? This message here is for a very special Divine Feminine. One that is on the hearts and minds of many other people because they're realizing something about you that they overlooked in the past. You may not be aware of this, but people that have had the pleasure of aligning with you on this journey are beginning to realize that God made you different. Because for a long time, you were very misunderstood just for being yourself and living from a place of authenticity. The feminine energy that I'm tapping into was blessed with a very rare level of empathy. And this may have caused a number of people to have an adverse reaction to you and just how you operate because it's unlike anything they have ever seen before. And at this time of your journey, it's being highlighted because your guides want you to know that it's your most attractive quality. It's your ability to feel deeper than anyone else. And that you were created this way for a much higher purpose. For as long as you can remember, Divine Feminine, this may have been a major insecurity of yours. You maybe even viewed this as a weakness, but this is absolutely your superpower. And because you are highly sensitive to the energy of others, it's also important to know that your method of communication is different. You pick up on information that others are completely oblivious to. And all of this is key in you determining who can have a deeper level of access to you because the energy of the people you choose to be in your life is crucial to your well-being, your mental health, your success, and your abundance. You were given this power because you have something that God wants you to protect. And that's why every cell in your being communicates with you. And depending on where you are on your spiritual journey, this can be subtle or it can be very loud. It's imperative for you to understand that even if you don't have a complete understanding, you are never to second guess what it is that you are feeling. Because the mere fact that you are picking up on information that your body and your nervous system is reacting in an adverse way to people, places, and things lets you know that whatever you are feeling is real and valid. And you may not know this, but there are people connected to you who think that your level of intuition is dangerous. And they feel this way because you are beginning to move as if you don't even need proof. Some are shocked because what they deem to be your greatest weakness has actually turned out to be your greatest strength. And you are tapping into your internal power to make the best decisions for yourself at this time, okay? This is also being highlighted because the feminine energy that I'm tapping into is going through a very transitional period in your life. And there's a focus on your relationships at this time. You're kind of taking inventory and shifting some things around in order to simply feel better and have a little more control in your day-to-day -day life. And there may have been an imbalance here as it pertains to what people say and what they do versus how they make you feel. This is very important to you at this stage of your journey. Something may not be adding up at this time. And this has kind of forced you to go within and seek higher counsel on how to navigate this energy. Because although this is such a beautiful quality, to have such a powerful level of empathy, sometimes you wish you didn't have it. Sometimes you may wish that you could assume a more stoic disposition in life 
as a way to protect yourself from the constant interference of energies around you. But it's important for you to know that your feelings are not only valid, Divine Feminine, they are your greatest gift. I mean, it's it's so powerful that it causes you to easily stand out from others. And it's also important for you to know that this is not something that everyone else possesses. And it was given to you because the life you are here to live requires you to have a very special skill set and also an extra layer of protection from the Most High. There's a much deeper reason that you interact with people in the way you do. You oftentimes question the motives and the thought processes of people around you because they seem so different from your internal makeup. You are able to catch on to things that others would quickly overlook. And being the recipient of this gift has given you vital information when the surface details are simply inadequate. Because you know that someone can be speaking to you, but also having a totally different internal dialogue with themselves. So you've learned that you can't just listen to what's being said. Naturally, your way of communicating is much more intimate. You look them in their eyes. You read their body language. You listen to their tone and their energy and how it makes you feel. This gift also has given you a heightened level of intuition. And others know this about you. Even though this may not be an aspect of yourself that you lead with, when you respond, you say things that they may not have even addressed, okay? You may also make people around you feel incredibly exposed, but it's equally fascinating. Your guides want you to know that you are an elevated soul, Divine Feminine. And with this level of awareness comes great responsibility. And because of this, God has granted you the ability to effortlessly read the room and to see people for who they truly are upon contact. So if you're in this place where you feel exhausted or just overstimulated, this is your high level of intuition at play. God knows where you have been, where you currently are, and also where you are headed in the near future. And it's time for you to accept that the most beautiful aspect of your being is also what makes you feel vulnerable. You may even carry guilt for setting boundaries or even forgiving people too easily. This is natural because you're unable to hold on to things. It can physically make you sick or just incredibly uncomfortable. What's being highlighted and what's sticking out here is that you were made differently, Divine Feminine. And your empathy is such a godly quality, okay? Everyone doesn't move how you move. And it's not because they don't want to, but because they were not created with the capacity to do so. God is very intentional, especially when we are being equipped with tools that we need to navigate this life. So it's not by accident that you have this level of awareness. It's for your benefit. It's for your purpose. So it's almost as if your guides want you to have a deeper understanding of this gift that you possess and also understand why you feel so intensely and so deeply. This also makes you one hell of a lover, Divine Feminine. And because love is our natural state and also the highest vibration on the planet, you may find that others are seeking what you have. There's this energy around you, Divine Feminine, where your aura is really expanding. You are really operating in a place of clarity. And this comes from radical acceptance of who you are, of looking over your journey and feeling gratitude for everywhere that you've been, every person that you've touched, every connection that you've made on your journey. There's something here about your relationships, okay? And a lot of people are beginning to see you in this light because long after your time together, your energy lingers in a way that they actively kind of seek this out in others. And some are conscious of what your energy does to them, but others find out after it's been removed from their world. This is speaking of anyone who has been on the receiving end of your attention and your affection. It's almost as if they have to find out the hard way that you really are who you say you are, okay? 
this feminine energy that I'm tapping into is truly one of a kind. You have been through a lot on your journey. So if you're in this place where you feel as if your ability to feel on a deep level has caused you great pain and has landed you in some very uncomfortable positions, you're being guided to look deeper and understand that you are here to feel your way through life. This is a part of your destiny to live a full life, to see the darkness, but to also feel the warmth of the light and to live to speak about it and share life from your perspective because your perspective is unique and it's needed and it's valued. No matter what you may have encountered to make you think otherwise, your level of empathy was given to you by God because you have a massive heart space. And so God knew that you would need an extra level of protection, an extra set of eyes and ears for you to do life in a way that's totally unique and comfortable for you, even if it doesn't make sense to anybody else around you. Your energy is coming through so clearly with this message here. This feminine energy that I'm tapping into, you know exactly who you are and you know the position that you play in the lives of people around you, within your family dynamic, within your friendship groups, your relationships, even your with your colleagues. You are a very vital key to the people, places, and things around you. And it's because of how you were created. It's because of how you see life. It's because of who you wake up and choose to be every single morning. And this is not to be taken lightly. Because you have such powerful emotions and you are very, very sensitive to the energy of your nervous system, it's very imperative that you level on yourself and that you practice radical self-care because you are easily overstimulated by your environment. You literally are like a sponge, Divine Feminine. You can take on so many people's emotions, whether they be good or whether they be bad, whether they be high vibrational or low vibrational. And so your environment and especially how you feel in the presence of other people is being highlighted at this time in your journey. There's a lot of energy coming up to the surface that's being purged as it pertains to your relationships and really the communication. There's a focus here on the nonverbal communication. If you were to strip away the ability to speak, how would you feel? What would your energy tell you in the presence of this person or that person or when you walk into a certain room? This is what's being highlighted right now. These are the tools that you were given in order for you to navigate and to live your highest and your best life. And there are some powerful, powerful connections coming into your world at this time where you are going to feel such a, a high level of vitality and energy in order to do what it is that you are created to do. A lot of you are healers. A lot of you have such a powerful presence that your energy alone, you just being in a certain space naturally raises the energy. And so a lot of times, Divine Feminine, you may find yourself in this way where you feel as if it's very, very hard to, to operate in a world where you feel constantly, you know, overstimulated. You feel like you're picking up on things. But at this time, your guides want you to understand that it is extremely powerful to have this gift of being able to feel your way through the universe, to being able to tap into other methods of communication. You see things that other people don't see. You pay close attention to detail. And what other people may not know about you is that a lot of times this ability comes from people who have dealt with a certain level of trauma where you've had to become hypersensitive to your environment. You had to look and, and, you know, feel your way through to see if you were safe. You have so much protection around you at this time. And your guides want you to know that, that you are loved, that you are protected, that where you are right now is exactly where it is that you should be. So if you have been second guessing that, it's really time to stand in your power as a healer, 
as a powerful creator, as someone who has the capacity to feel. You are someone who's really here to live a full life, to get a full experience. That's why everything is heightened for you. But you also have to have powerful boundaries set into place because your energy is very sacred. Oh, it's very, very sacred. It's very, very sensitive. And this makes you also very, very close to the spiritual realm where you receive powerful downloads being in the presence of other people. They don't even have to open their mouths. You can make eye contact and you receive a download from your higher self, from your higher power, letting you know exactly what's going on. That is a powerful gift. But there are moments where you absolutely feel overwhelmed because this type of energy is rare and it's not catered to on a level that it needs to be. And so you have absolute permission to nurture yourself, to live your life according to how God designed you and how God made you. And so if you need extra time to sleep, you know, if you need to ground yourself after every single day, if you need to be out in nature, you have that permission to do exactly what it is that you need to do for you to feel your highest and your best because your energy is so vital and it's needed on this planet. The vibration of love, the vibration of gratitude is so powerful that it literally can change people from the inside out. This is what your energy does. But you also have to protect your own heart space as well. And know when, when you're in the presence of givers or takers, okay? There are also some very powerful, powerful activations that are happening right now that need to be integrated. And these are coming from the crown chakra. There may be a little heaviness that you feel within your crown chakra area or your third eye chakra, you may feel, you know, headaches, you may feel as if you need more rest, um, as if you need to drink more water. These are signs that you are going through an activation and your intuition is being sharpened constantly. You're being gifted with these downloads to help you navigate your journey in a more purposeful way. So this is really a time to be gentle with yourself, Divine Feminine, and to pay attention to the way that the Most High in the universe is communicating with you. But there may be an emphasis on nonverbal communication. This is also a time to align with what it is that you would like to bring into your life. With this new moon and Gemini energy that, that we just had, this is a powerful time to set intentions for your relationships, but there's a focus on how you would like to feel. So instead of thinking about the physical aspect, now it's time to really set the intention on the emotional aspect because this is where you create. This is your realm, Divine Feminine. And so you are at a very, very powerful, powerful stage of your life where it may feel heavy because there are a lot of integrations that are happening just with, within your energetic body. But your guides want you to know that you are safe. So at this time, there is very important information coming in pertaining to your relationships that are specifically tied to your destiny. So this is vital and you may need some extra time to integrate this information. So take your time and pace yourself. And remember that you are here to feel. So there is an emphasis on what you give your attention to because you are so sensitive. You do require more rest, more self-care, and clearing of your energy than most people. So definitely give yourself the time and space and energy to do so. So you can create something that makes you feel good and allows you to hold your highest vibration at all times, okay? So Divine Feminine, in case you were wondering why you were feeling so much intense emotion lately, you have a very powerful, rare level of empathy. And this is your gift. 
And at this time, your guides are highlighting this so you know how to take care of your gift and you also know who to share it with, okay? Okay, loves, I'm going to go ahead and end the reading here. If you resonated with this message, be sure to hit the like button on your way out. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to the channel and I will see you all in the next video. Bye.